or river and notice the metal box or small structure on the side of a bank? Many people pass these without a second look. These are gazing stations. They are constantly measuring the height and the discharge or stream flow of the water. The U.S. Geological Survey has currently over 9,500 stations all over the U.S. Gauging stations transmit data either in 15 minutes or 60 minute increments. In its simplest form, the stream data are recorded by the gauging station and then sent to a satellite that then sends data to a ground station. Finally, the National Water Information System displays it on the USGS website. The data received by the gauging station can be graphed to show the history of the water flow on that stream for a given time to determine how often this stream floods or flood frequency all of the historic stream flow data for the site is downloaded. This is called a flood series. The flood series is sorted from the largest flood or largest magnitude to the smallest. The floods are then ranked and a recurrence interval is assigned to each. A recurrence interval uses statistical techniques to determine a certain flood's likelihood to occur within a given time period. For example, a 100-year flood has a probability to occur once every 100 years, or a 1% probability every year. The more yearly data received by the gauging station, the more precise the recurrence intervals. Changes in urbanization, climate, or large alterations to the watershed can change the magnitude and or frequency of floods. Because of this, recurrence intervals may need to be adjusted over time. Finally, once the recurrence interval has been calculated, the corresponding stream discharge and gauge height can be interpolated. The gauge height can then be used to determine what areas around the stream might be covered by water during certain size storms.